Hello, good morning and welcome to the lovely Richmond Park. I have my rain jacket on because I think it might rain and my hair looks slightly funny at the front because I had to cut my fringe or bangs because I hit the car door and um, injured my head so I had to cut it back because when it hit my head all this blood poured out and I had to cut my fringe back in order to prevent the blood getting stuck in my head so I think my hair is going to be looking a real bit stupid for the next few months but it was more important for me to stop the bleeding and also that that the wound at the top of my head healed correctly. Anyway enough of that let's talk about pickpockets in London and in Europe. Um, I'm going to be going away soon to um, Corfu so of course Greek Island still susceptible to uh, pickpocketing maybe not so much as the UK but it's also worth being vigilant when you're out. So the first thing I'm going to show you to avoid pickpockets is this little sort of thing I put around my neck and put underneath my clothing. This is a sort of concealed bag. In this concealed bag I can probably fit my um, wallet and my passport and this will go under my outer clothing and I'm working on the principle that we can't stop pickpocketing but we can reduce the risk of pickpocketing um, happening. So if you put your most valuable items out of sight, out of mind, it means that you are becoming less vulnerable to be pickpocketed. So I would suggest if you do um, don't own one of these, get one. I know this is not the most attractive one, but does it really have to be attractive if it's under your person? And you can probably get these um, bags from any good retailer that sells, like if you're going to um, camping um, shops and stuff like that, they probably will sell them. One of the other things I do whilst using public transport in London is I use um, the Oyster card. Uh, Oyster card, sorry, turn it that way. I use this Oyster card. I paid £7 for the card and I go from zone one to five and this is a weekly pass and I spend about £73 on it. If you're a tourist traveling to the UK and you're staying more than three or four days, I would highly recommend getting the seven day pass. Um, your daily fare, if you use your credit card, will be topped at about 15 pounds. But if you're here for any more than three or four days, it tends to be more expensive. Of course, you can get the one to four um, travel card, which is a bit cheaper than the one to five. The one to five is £73. So this I find much safer. The reason I wear this is because I can just tap this, not worry about my credit card ever coming out for where I've hidden it. And all I'm using is something that doesn't really have that many details on it. And basically it's just my Oyster card. If I put my credit card on here, of course, that might lead it susceptible to people trying to get my details. I'm going to do some research about what is contained on an Oyster card or what information is contained on that Oyster card just in case there's more than I'd like and what I want to do when I'm doing this series is give you as much detail as I can about how to reduce pickpocketing and theft but like I said the Oyster card is a good way of not getting your credit card out. It's on your neck, it's close to your person and pickpockets are less likely to do it. Uh, less likely to steal from you if you're making yourself less vulnerable to pickpockets. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you um, one of the bags that I use for getting around London. It's not completely theft proof and I have to think of how and where I put items in this bag. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm now going to show you the bag I use. So this is one of the bags I use and basically this bag has a front. Now again, this front pocket here is going to be very susceptible to pickpockets. You can hear a man calling for his dog Ziggy, bless him. He's looking for Ziggy. If anybody can find Ziggy, please let us know. Now he's calling Biscuit. <laughs> so, funny names for dogs, Ziggy and Biscuit, but there you go. The joy of filming in Richmond Park. So anyway, here's my bag. This inner, inner pocket is susceptible. Again, this pocket here is susceptible so if you're going to put stuff in here don't put valuable stuff in it standing this up we have a pocket to the side here again although the pocket is close to you I don't like where this is going here so this pocket is another pocket that I wouldn't probably use there's a pocket right at the top here 
uh, here, which is another pocket. I quite like it, but I wouldn't use it either because it's susceptible. Unless you, if you want to use this front pocket here, make sure this is locked down. The really good thing about this backpack is this pocket here that's well hidden. And I like this because it's close to me. And also I can put my valuables within this pocket because the zipper is positioned right in front of me. Pickpockets can't get to that. Looking at everything I have, what I have to consider here is this. I may have my backpack, backpack safe, but I might be distracted. One of the common scams to distract is to put a bit of tomato sauce on your jacket. If you have it on your jacket, you're likely to take it off and then you're likely to put your bag down. Then it means your bag is gonna get stolen. So if you find a, a mark on your back, like tomato ketchup or, or a pigeon poo stain, whatever the stain is, and somebody offers kindly to clear it up, don't go somewhere safe take everything off and clean it when you're away from the potential of that bag getting stolen. Better the inconvenience of having a little bit of poo on your shoulder than having your bag stolen. It's really important that you consider these facts. Obviously, when you're a tourist, you also have the extra risk of having a suitcase on you as well. So if you've got a suitcase on you, make sure it's locked and be very vigilant around it. Now, <clears throat> What I've noticed about pickpockets when I've looked at most videos in relation to pickpocketing, a lot of it comes down to if there's a group, there's going to be a person who distracts you. There's also going to be a person who, if you're in a crowded area, is going to conceal the fact they are picking your pocket. And one of the ways they do this is they always carry some sort of jacket or paper in order to be a distraction. So be very careful if a person has a jacket over their shoulder because they may potentially be using that as a distraction, especially if they're um, standing real close to you. The other distraction method in relation to um, theft pickpocketing is that a lot of them have um, quite empty bags, like they're almost like shoulder bags, but they're empty and they're close to their chest. The reason why they're close to their chest is they're large, they can put the um, supplies that they steal inside of them, and they can use the jacket as a distraction and when they finish with the jacket they can chuck it in that bag and even like by putting the jacket in the bag they've changed and disguised themselves and um, not all pickpockets look like pickpockets of course they look like ordinary general members of the public they will try to fit in as much as possible so when you're in big cities when you're encountering these people please use cautions remain vigilant especially around busy places I love this park though, I'm, I'm going off on a tangent here. Um, I decided that when I'm vlogging I'm going to come to some of the beautiful spots in London because I think it's wonderful. So Richmond Park, imagine this was the park of Henry VIII and it's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years and hopefully it will never change. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this um, video in relation to reduction of pickpockets. I'm going to be going on a trip soon and uh, I'll be probably doing some travel vlogs, so come along with me. And um, if you do like these videos, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to um, grow my channel now and I'm really gonna focus on travel and as, as much photography as I can within the traveling but I'm going to be focusing on traveling, travel tips, um, different areas of London. I'm really going back to the um, beginning of the channel, where I started with this channel. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you all again soon.